Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers and basically half a squad of mechs today because we're gonna go on Operation Pressure's Wheel. We wanna get the trophy where we complete a mission with uh yeah, at least three mechs on the team, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We need to hack a workstation in the advent facility. I'm very well aware that I don't have a specialist with me, but uh, with these three ladies, we should uh, have plenty of ways to do that as well. And yeah, now that I think about it, the spark units can actually ha hack from a distance as well. So uh, yeah, we will definitely be able to do that. So on this mission, we're taking Sparky, Heidi, Christina, Evie, Bulky, or uh, new spark unit and uh, Miyu Tanaka are uh, yeah are are what are these guys called psi operatives that was it psi operatives here we go and there we go the looks like the sky ranger was going through a building there but the access point we're after is just ahead move to secure the area expect hostile resistance so three heavy duty bolts Two of which can uh, actually initiate their shield wall ability, or three, three, three of which apparently. Okay, so they have that uh, as a base apparently. I kind of forgot about that, but we should be able to get closer, uh, and we'll uh, move up with these uh, three heavy duty mechs. And in the second turn, we move up with Sparky, and we spot a triplet of Archons. Uh, they don't know we're here yet. But we should give them a, an explosive uh, surprise in a minute. And they move forward and they'll probably spot something. Because uh, I'm not really well protected. <laughs> um, or not. And we uh, do get... Ooh, a Lancer and a Codex. But that should still be fine. I should probably start this off with a bang. Uh, I could start this off with the Shredstorm Cannon. But that's going to be a little bit of overkill. Um, so I'm gonna overkill it even more by using the blaster bomb. <laughs> so there we go, this strips uh, the entire building open and hits all three Archons in a nice big explosion. And since Sparky also has the, uh, what's it called? The Rainmaker ability that could go up to 12 damage. There we go. And that opens up a nice chunk of the building so we get a bit more sidelines. There we go. Now they die. There we go. Triple Archon. They're very, very mad. And still very, very fashionable. And they spread out like a boss. And we do spot... Ooh. Yeah, we spot some more dudes. Okay. But the mechs are here to, uh, to win the day. Because, of course, those overdrive abilities are going to be very, very nice. As a first step, what can we do? Ooh, Domination. Kind of forgot about that. Who is the the Archon with the most health left? This guy seems to be, so let's do domination Don't on him. Let it happen. Come on. I want to see this happen. Come on, Miyu. Dominate him. I think that was a complete mess. Mind control resisted. Domination failed. Okay. Okay. No biggie. No biggie just yet. We can definitely clear out the remaining Archons. What I want to do is use our two other mechs to actually clear that out. Um, how much damage does the strike actually do? That's 11 damage, but has only a 70% chance to hit. I can actually go inside of the building to do that as well. But let's kick in Overdrive. There we go. Zweeble, zweeble, zweeble. And then we fire once. Ooh, that's... Yeah, the, the hit chances are re really low, but nevertheless, firing away. That's one Archon down. Then another shot at... Yeah, that's only 58 anymore because the hit chances go down. But 50-50 is 50-50 and it's a kill. Ooh, executed. That means that the repeated on the gun actually uh, triggered. Um, and then I could do a melee strike, but even that is only 44% anymore. Um, so I could use the Shredstorm Cannon. Ooh. I could actually use the Shredstorm Cannon, but that's gonna hit the... Yeah, the workstation, or not. Is the workstation... I should get a warning, right? No, okay, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the workstation if I wanna do... That's too bad, because I can hit all of them if I want to. 
Um, I could try another shot, but that's not gonna help. So, if all else fails, let's just try and strike this Archon. 50-50? Well, 40-60, but... Boop! Oh, we missed. That was, that was a cool animation. But we missed. Okay, there we go. So, next one to go into Overdrive is Bulky. So, let's go into Overdrive. And then, I want to see... So, how much damage does that Hellfire Projector do? 6 to 9, but also inflicts burning. Um, I actually don't know... What's the, the range on this thing? Ooh! That's actually pretty good. Um, so, I'm going to move to over here. Oh, I can't see how far that's going to be. So, let's move to over here first. And then... How far can we go? Just outside the window. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I've, I've put this guy in Italian. Just because... Ah, oh, crap. Well, this is gonna be bad. I've been a bit too enthusiastic here. Okay, uh, let's just use that Hellfire Projector. I can hit... I uh, just can't hit both of them. But I can do this. I could also just do this. No, that's not going to hit both of them. But this through the window can actually hit all of them. Uh, yeah. Like this. Hellfire Projector. Bring the fire. Ooh, yeah. That's 8 damage on one, but apparently I didn't hit the second one. That's even more annoying. Okay. Okay. Who can I hit? I can hit the Lancer, the Trooper, the Shield Bear, and the Codex from here. So not the, um, the Archon down here, which is kind of annoying. Um, but with that, I can do Lightning Hands on... Lightning Hands on the Shield Bear is 72%. And that was 5 damage, because the, the Dark Claw actually ignores armor. Then, I could do... Fanfire on the Shield Bear to definitely kill it. But I don't think the Shield Bear is going to be my problem. I think the Codex might be. So, and I can apparently hit the Codex from here with the pistol. So, Fanfire is 3 shots. And there we go, there goes the Codex. Whew. I needed to hit two of them. And then we can fire one more time, either with a sniper rifle. I think I'm gonna go with the sniper rifle, because that's 100% on... Hmm... I could do rupture, but the rupture doesn't do more damage. I'm only at 10% critical chance, so that's not gonna help either. So I think the shield bearer is gonna have to die. He's gonna die guaranteed, so let's go with that. Blamo. And that was the 10% critical, though. Okay, and now we have Heidi. Heidi, how much damage can she do with the sword? Because I might be able to put her over there as a distraction. How much health does this guy have left? Uh, he seems to have... That's 11 then. But I think I do 11 damage with the sword, right? Yeah, 11 to 12. So if I enable Reaper... I can actually use the sword over here. To be as close as possible to the other units. That kills the Archon. And then I can still move all the way to the back if I want to. Uh, and I am going to go for the Priest, I think. Because I don't think I'll be able to kill the... No, the Lancer I can't kill and the Trooper I can't kill. So that definitely going to go for the Priest. Like this. I have one more trick up my sleeve, and hopefully I'll be able to use that, but there we go. He goes down. And then we get a pretty close shot to the Lancer. Yeah, the Lancer is going to have to do, so I'm going to rapid fire on the Lancer. So double 60% is probably better than a single 70% shot, so here we go. Mathematics, that's a miss. And the second one doesn't miss, but doesn't crit either. Okay, fair enough. 
The trooper, uh, so yeah, tactical analysis, I kind of now know what that means. That just means that we, uh, we got that continent bonus from Northern America, where they only have one action um, if we spot them on our turn. So that's why they, uh, the trooper shot immediately, because he couldn't do anything else. He couldn't move and shoot, and the Lancer could, so he tried to get closer. That's not a problem, it's Hellfire. And it's for the enemies, not for you, Heidi, so that's, that shouldn't be a problem, right? So only one more trooper left. Uh, I should probably just go in and take him out. Yeah, let's just go in, flank him and take him out. If I spot anything else... Oh, damn, there goes the frame rate again. I don't, need, I don't think I even got a frame rate anymore. Okay, that was... Did we spot anything else? Yeah, we spot something else. I see two extra aliens. Ooh, damn! Oh, crap. Okay, so we got... We got extra aliens. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So we failed the objective because the gatekeeper just smashed through the... Uh... Yeah, that's that's not my fault, is it? The gatekeeper smashed through the objective. Um... Okay, that's a 94% chance to crit. You know what? Now that I have a gatekeeper here as well, might as well check if I can't do anything else. Um, if I put Eevee over here, I should be able to use the um, the Shredstorm Cannon to take care of most of the armor on the gatekeeper. So like this, and then fire away at... Ooh, I can probably aim this into the path of... Yeah, a Spectre as well, so like uh this it seems to hit the gatekeeper i don't think i hit his tile we'll see in a second i need this yeah there we go okay we shred the uh the gatekeeper as well okay uh i don't think sparky went into overdrive just yet so let's put him on overdrive or her i should say her but yeah there we go overdrive nonetheless uh, get a little bit closer. Because I think we should get a flank shot on that trooper now. Yeah, from over here. That's 76%. And there we go, we get another kill. An efficient kill. And then I think I'm gonna use my last turn. I could use that to heal Bulky. But I don't think I need to. So let's just put him on Overwatch. Um, how far does the beam from Mew actually reach? Not that far, okay. Um, which means that we need to get closer, but we won't be able to get close enough to hit anything, I think. That's gonna be problematic for Heidi. What's over there? Okay, here goes uh, my plan. Um, I'm gonna go uh, into run and gun. And move. Then I can go over here and hopefully... Yeah, I'm gonna see what the what the olds are, because of course a uh, a specter has a lot of uh, health, so 95% on the crit. But I could also do a sword strike when he tries to get away, and this one is probably more of a guaranteed kill. Yeah, I probably should try and kill this one because I still have a sniper rifle shot with Christina to try and kill the original one. Yeah, there we go. We got the critical, and we got the kill, which is most the most important thing. Uh, and then we get Implacable, I think. I'm gonna do Implacable right next to the Gatekeeper. Because if I can get a melee strike in beforehand, that's gonna be some extra damage. He is untouchable at the moment. And I think... Ooh, I can actually fire at it with the Bulky as well. Let's do that. And that's another bit of shredding. Um... And then we get the sniper rifle shot on that remaining Spectre, so he's gonna die as well. Hopefully, 98% chance. There we go. And that gets us uh, death from above. Ooh, even hair trigger, that's really good. I don't have kill zone on Christina, but she can go into Overwatch either way. And same goes for Miu. And we get, oh yeah, right, those reinforcements. Kind of forgot about those. But the gatekeeper is almost dead, so everything's fine. And there, yeah, a commander, a purifier, and a mech. Not the easiest thing, especially with that uh, commander or officer, or whatever you want to call it. 
And they get close to Heidi, by the way. If anybody goes into the building, they might get another blade strike. Ah, and there goes the sniper rifle shot, but she should hit this. There we go. Ah, and there we go. Sparky actually finishes off the officer. And we get another... Ooh, yeah, those overwatch shots are going towards those guys. And not the... Oh, that seemed like a hit. But apparently not. Okay. Gatekeeper, what is he going to do? I think he's going to try and hit Heidi here. Oh no, he makes a gateway next to the mech. That is ridiculous. Oh, he's just not dead. One health away. Ah, yeah, that's going to go straight in the bulky. Bulky got hit significantly there. And what the hell just happened? Oh. Oh. So gateway actually we in... Wow, revives enemies. Was that a second one? I think I heard the second one wake up. Ah, uh, and that's the third one. I think he just woke up everybody again. And he goes in. That's not fair. Yeah, yeah. He resurrected three people. Okay. Okay. But that's not a problem. Because uh, we still have Christina. And Christina has a, a very fancy ability. Because uh, Christina can actually take care of most of these guys. But, oh no. We're not close enough. Okay, then. Do any of the mags have overdrive again? Probably not, no. Um, I should probably heal up Bulky first. So, with repair. I don't know how much that's going to be. Guess we'll see in a second. And we heal... Repair damage basically does that mean that it's permanently repaired by the way so that's six health uh, and then we can fire at the mac because he's still on overwatch and uh, we should probably take care of him first there we go and that should have removed the overwatch there we go there we go we can put christina right in the middle here right right over here somewhere there we go that should give us sight on... Yeah, six enemies. Does that include... So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, and the purifier over there. So I'm guessing she just can't see the... The gatekeeper. I wanna, I wanna, have, some, I wanna have some fun here. Uh, so let's put Heidi over here. Moving out. Let's let her open up the door. And let's hope that that gives her actually sight, gives Christina sight on the... Oh, does that? Yeah, that now changed to seven targets. Oh, this is going to be fun. Um, face off, here we go. Uh, one. That's a kill. Second kill. Third hit. Fourth hit. That's another kill. That's another kill. And that's another kill. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was badass. That was just badass. Uh, what can we actually fire at here? Yeah, the heavy mech. Um, I think I'm still... I should probably focus fire on that purifier over there as well, because otherwise this is not going to... What the hell? Oh, I want to see this. This is a, a, an interesting way of routing stuff. <laughs> uh, through the roof. And now Bulky can actually fire at the purifier. 92%. That's really good. That seemed like a wall hack, but uh, there we go. Another kill for Bulky. Should get him a promotion, right? And then we get... Miyu. Can Miyu have a shot? Miyu is actually pretty far away. But she could actually just do that with her energy blast. Uh, can I actually see promotions on the max or not? Ah, doesn't really matter. Eevee is the closest one. Uh, so I think I'm gonna let her finish off the mech. Uh, although, somebody needs to grab that loot as well. I think I'm, I'll, I'll let Heidi grab the loot so we can see what's in there. There we go. Let's grab that. At least we got something out of this mission. Superior Autoloader and Superior Agility PCS. That's dodging, I think. And then we can use Eevee to fire away at the mech. And that was a miss. I didn't see the original hit chances, but that was... Oh, come on, I'm not even gonna risk this. Um, no, thingy, fire away. No. 
Blast them with that energy beam. Goodbye. There we go. That was a lot of enemies. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. The current area of operation is secure. Yeah, okay. Mission failed because that uh, that workstation was destroyed by an alien. Um, nothing I could, do, could have done about that. That's the first failure in this entire run. And probably the last one. But we killed 18 enemies in 5 turns. So I, I guess that deserves a pat on the back. And we get kind of sad music. But I don't really mind. Because of the fact that the mission was uh, a failure. And I think I didn't... Did I get the trophy? I should check. Give me one second to check. Oh, we didn't even get the trophy. I just checked. We didn't get the trophy. <laughs> because we didn't technically complete the mission. We failed the mission. That is uh Then I'm guessing I'm not going to get that trophy in this uh, run. Because uh, uh, those 28 days that Bulky is out, I'm probably not going to be able to uh, recover from that. Um, by the time that we hit the end game. So let's promote him. Let's promote Bulky. Um, adaptive aim. I want to try... No, that extra arm is just too good. No, no, no. That extra arm is just too good. Sadly, yeah, Sparky didn't get a an upgrade there, which is sad because he's he's been on the eight missions so far. Um, but yeah, that's it. And we also failed to counter the dark event because of that. That is stupid. That is really stupid because we we didn't have any control over that. We couldn't stop that gatekeeper because he did that even in his first movement action. He didn't even attack. He just moved through the objective and it was gone. Um, but yeah, that's that, I suppose. And there we go, the counterattack dark event completes immediately. So advent units have a chance to enter Overwatch after being revealed. And we didn't even get the supplies reward, which is annoying. So I'm okay, just gonna head to the black market. Course. Uh, let's get some supplies from over there just to offset the loss we just uh, faced. That was that was really silly, really really silly. But 178 supplies. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a little treat. Ooh, and there we go. The Sayonic Gates project is complete. Hate to do this, but you're the only one who can pull this off. You know I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through, okay? Whoa, are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. And there he comes flying back out. That is definitely not fine, Doctor. The process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. Or Rover. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. I feel 
that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. So this cutscene kind of breaks because of War of the Chosen, because we've attacked the Chosen in their hideouts, and their hideouts actually look quite similar to what we just saw through the gate, and they just go, oh, that's not, that looks like something I've never seen before. Um, well, yeah, they've seen that three times already. Um, but now we can do the research for the final uh, bit. So the Sionic Gate was part one, and now we need to research the Avatar to finally know how we can get through the gate, the gate that's been set up right now. So the research is blinking here, but I think I just need to... Yeah, Avatar Autopsy. Um, let's start that, I don't think. Represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished. Perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. Uh-oh. Hello, Elders. I believe we have found our avatar. There we go. Which is why it's called, literally called the Avatar Autopsy. I don't know why they make a big deal out of this, because we already knew that. But uh, yeah, Avatar Autopsy has started. And let's go back to the bridge. And then we got the covert action completed. Uh, no level ups, but um, yeah, mobility has increased on Elizabeth, which is fine. And we got modular uh, cannons. And the next one will go for 17 ability points. We'll be able to spend those right before the final mission. There we go, the Rage Suit is completed. The nearly impenetrable skin of the Berserker Queen functions superbly as a bodysuit, granting incredible protection, damage resistance and mobility. The Rage Suit also features a mechanism to rapidly spike the adrenaline of the wearer, enabling them to rush enemies for powerful melee attacks. One Rage Suit has been added to the inventory. Uh, and we can go into Rage Armor as well by injecting the Rage Suit with additional Illyrium. Its protective qualities are improved while retaining its inherent mobility and potential for devastating melee assaults. There we go. Uh, I think I can do that immediately now. There we go. Rage Armor. It's instant. It only costs 75 supplies, 15 alien alloys and 5 Illyrium crystals. So there we go. And uh, let's check that out on somebody here. And we'll pump the Rage Suit, we'll put that on Emily, because Emily has been uh, one of our two Rangers that have uh, shined throughout this playthrough. And the extra melee attacks seem like uh, a perfect fit. So Rage Strike is a separate ability. So attack an enemy within movement range with a devastating melee assault. So not just one attack, probably a multiple, uh, multiple attacks, I suppose. Rage Armor is a heavy class armor. And you can mount a heavy weapon on it. Ooh. That is interesting. Um, allows the wearer to charge enemies and inflict brutal melee damage. And wearing this armor has a chance to panic mutons and berserkers. Wait a second. Maybe I should put that on a grenadier then. Yeah, since we can mount a heavy weapon, give me a second. And who better than Jacqueline, of course, because uh, she has been our number one grenadier from the start. Well, not from the start, there was one that actually died pretty early on. But uh, there we go. Ooh. Damn, that looks Only weird. One of these things, so be careful with it. Just because you look like a berserker doesn't mean you can go charging off into combat like they do. That looks. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> and can't I color this thing? Oh, that was. I mean, we should be able to color this thing, right? Because this looks really, really awkward now. I mean, that didn't really make it that much better, but at least it's something. It looks a bit better than that weird monkey color thing. Because that was, yeah, that, that, it's, it's a weird suit. It's just a really weird suit, especially because, you know, it's a woman, but the musculature looks, yeah, male. It's really, really weird. And there we go, psionic training for Miu is once more complete. She gets the fuse ability. Let's give her another one. And we get Fortress, which is just a, um, a passive ability. So the Cyberative is immune to fire, poison, acid, and explosive damage. There we go. Okay, and with that, I think it's high time we kill off our final alien ruler. Um, which means that we're gonna go to this alien facility. So 
So there we go. An extremely powerful and dangerous alien is guarding this location. On Operation Falling Tongue. Let's check that facility out and see what team we're gonna make uh, bring with us again because uh, we're always going for a specialized team for these missions. And this is gonna be the team. So Jacqueline in the rage suit with a blaster launcher, an EMP bomb and a double frost bomb. Then Heidi in the serpent suit with the assassin weapons and the talon rounds. Then Erica with the hunter weapons and the, uh, the tracer rounds and the raid suit. Then Elena with her Banish ability should be able to do a hell of a lot of damage as well. Then Kali has the Plasma Caster this time, so no longer the uh, original Bolt Caster, but the Plasma Caster, capable of doing up to 12 damage and a chance to stun with the Dragon Rounds and a Medkit. And then Hilda as Backup Specialist, also with a Medkit and the Skull Jack. So hopefully that is going to be enough to finish off the Archon Ruler. So uh, on Operation Falling Tongue. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Because next time we're going to kill off our last alien ruler. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. Goodbye.